Hello everybody, my name is Kala Siddiqui and in this video you're, we're going to learn how to set up your new Ring, uh, I'm sorry, Blink doorbell. Well, it's the same as Ring anyways. And uh, we're going to go step by step how to program it with your smartphone and use it. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we need to do in order to use this, we need to have the Blink app installed which is this app right here. Try Face ID, there you go. This is the app. So these will not be in your app when you first install it because you will not have a front door blank or entrance door, this and that. So this will be all clear. You have to press the plus button to add a new device. To add a new device, you take the device, open it up, it comes with the battery and everything, instructions. This is the mounting plate. And let's get the battery out, that's the battery. And let's see what else we have here underneath. We have some more goodies here. Most likely that's the hardware, installation hardware, but let me find out. And that's what it is. It's the installation hardware, the manual, and uh, the wire ground link and the key for installation all right okay so these wires right here are if you want to uh, mount this with the instead of uh, battery powered if you want to mount it with wired option so we will need this because we will be using the battery for the wireless option. The batteries that come with this are uh, lithium cell, ultimate lithium cell, uh, which lasts for up to two years in the doorbell. However, that's uh, not something that is uh, uh, without saying that if you increase the resolution and video quality and motion sensor sensitivity, the duration of the battery life will drop substantially. So it will probably, to be on the safe side, assume the battery will last you one year. All right, so now we will start putting the, the batteries. The battery goes plus exactly as it's marked, you know, plus and minus. And you close this, remove these. You have to remove all of these plastics. Some people don't remove the plastics for protection, but that causes uh, overheat. These things, they need to breed air. Not to mention the microphone is covered. So if you don't remove the plastic, no, you can't hear the person speaking at the door. So always remove the plastic pieces. Now all you have to do is scan the back right here this barcode you have to scan it you click on add you click on video doorbell and simply scan it scan was successful and now this is my uh, existing system home uh, so that's what I'm going to add it on home system you have to disarm it to add new devices currently that's armed. So I'm going to disarm it. Every time you add a new device in your system, you have to disarm everything else. So this tells you how to put in the batteries, which we already did. We don't need to worry about that. It tells you how to snap in the back, which we did. And now it says wait until the LED blinks red. It already blinks red. So I don't even have to wait for that. It's, it's blinking red right there. Continue. So now it's searching for it. Let's put this in the middle so you can see better. So now you see that Alexa already realized that, uh, you know, the doorbell has been connected and now it's updating the firmware. 
which takes a few minutes. Now I'm going to pause the video because this could take up to two, three or four minutes. Now the light, you see the, the red light is blinking rapidly because this is the process of updating firmware. First it downloaded the firmware and now it's updating. Okay, so there it is, the firmware update was successful and this tells you mount blink video doorbell. This is the mounting procedure when you cl click, it tells you what kind of a tools you need. If you have stucco, by the way, a lot of homes are nowadays made out of stucco. For stucco, you have to buy special stucco drill bits, which I purchased. It's a stucco drill bit, special type of drill bit, and you have to continuously take a cup of water with you and constantly, continuously cool off the bits, uh, the tip of the bit as you are drilling because it overheats to the point that it becomes red and that's very bad for the drill bit, it gets ruined. So that's that and it's telling you would you like to wire the blank video doorbell, you know, with your existing chime and the door, you could do that if you wanted to, but I don't need to do that, so I'm not. I'm just gonna say no. But if you if you were to say yes, if you say yes, then it tells you what to do, you know. So you have to you know that. So now it's telling you, uh, are you going to mount the Blink video doorbell placed in an existing doorbell, which. Uh, I'm not gonna do because the existing doorbell is on the on, on the wall. This is gonna be on the door, so no, I'm not gonna do that. But if you say yes, it guides you through that. So normally this sh should come with two mounting brackets. One is straight, the other one is angled. Like the straight one is like this, the angled one is slightly like this, like with like a 45 degree angle type of thing. But mine didn't for some reason. Maybe I bought the cheaper version. Uh, it didn't come with dual angle bracket I only have one bracket and that's all I need so you put the two screws it's pretty simple and voila that's that's all you have to do and then you snap the doorbell into the its place and that's it so that's how you connect that you could capture photo you could change the live video recording and all the different things you could do uh, with the video doorbell so currently I have two items here this is the video doorbell and I need to change the name to change the name you click uh, you know cross and you put a give it a new name let's say doorbell uh, Door. Well, actually, I was gonna put door uh, bell two words, but since it's one word, I will leave it as one word. Doorbell. Now, if I want to see the live feed from this, I click here. Let's see the live feed from this camera. I'm gonna fa put it to my face. So there it is. That's the live feed. All right, and that's it. You, you close that, and you have to arm everything because we disarmed. Every time you install something, you have to disarm the system. So now we are arming it again. Everything is armed. The whole system is armed, and that's it. Simple as that, you know. It's just like ABC. Alright, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.